magandang hapon mga classmates at batchmates. Welcome sa Tatak ni PLB segment. Kasama ko po ngayon dito sa isang kwarto dito sa ERDB ang ating tampok na panauhin para sa second episode ng Tatak ni PLB. Walang iba kundi si Dr. Lynn Ray Pintor. Magandang hapon ma'am. Welcome po sa Tatak ni PLB segment. Pati niyo po muna ang ating mga fellow batchmates and classmates. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat, especially sa mga you know, batchmates ko sa SIPAF and sa mga naging professors ko in uh, SIPAF. Ayan. Dahil dyan, upisahan na po natin ang ating kwentuhan with Ma'am Bibi. So Ma'am, currently, ano po ang ginagawa niyo ngayon at paano mo ba nakatulong ang SIPAF sa field na tinatahan niyo? Currently, I am the Research and Program Manager of the Urban Ecosystem Research. Uh, division mm-hmm. ng uh, ecosystem research and development bureau, the research arm of the DNR. As a clearing house, ang um, role ng ating division, we're in the evaluate mga research proposals coming from our research as centers. We also prepare research proposals on cross-cutting concerns and we also provide uh, technical assistance to our various uh, stakeholders. And likewise, we also monitor and evaluate ongoing uh, research uh, projects na ini-implement ang aming mga research centers. We help yung peer support na program in SIPA build ng uh, community development because one of the trusts of the DENR is to work in cities to achieve SDG Goal 11, Sustainable uh, Cities and uh, Communities. Also, yung aking uh, minor naman, is uh, strategic planning and public policy. And one of the roles uh, for as a program manager in AMICA division is to provide inputs to policy. So this is highly related naman sa aking topic. That's why up to now, is na invite pa rin ako as judge sa mga best uh, policy brief and also give lectures on uh, preparing a uh, policy paper, policy brief ng uh, UPLP and also uh, different uh, universities in the country. And um, sige, tatanayin kita. Ano po bang exciting part dun sa trabaho ni po? Ang exciting part, of course, I mean, work as um, clearing house yung aming uh, division is kasama dyan kasi yung mentoring and coaching dun sa mga research uh, centers namin. So, there is a sense of fulfillment pag uh, na nakakapag-provide uh, kami ng ano ba yung mga recent uh, trends na kailangan nilang i-prepare na research proposal to address our research gaps, yung mga methodologies as well. Somehow, it's fulfilling on okay. my part uh, as program management. Ay, ano po ba yung ano, masasabi yung greatest achievement mo when it comes to your career path? Uh, modesty aside, siguro ang masasabi kong achievements ako uh, is nakikilala ako in the scientific organization. Hence, na-elect ako as uh, officer ng various uh, scientific uh, organizations. Na-invite din ako as uh, plenary speaker in different international conferences and resource uh, speaker on uh, urban uh, ecosystem. Uh, very blessed din ako because I was also selected twice as country national expert and that a great opportunity for me na mag-conduct ng two research projects under the Asian Productivity Organization in Japan. And also, dahil researcher din ako sa aking puso at isipan, so I was also given the privilege to receive best paper awards. Well, congratulations, ma'am. Masarap sa pagkandang kasi talaga pag-researcher ka tapos mayroon ang paper na re-recognize na na. Are you still um, doing research papers even na busy ko kayo po sa ngayon? Here in ERDB, since we are clearing the house, we are allowed to prepare proposals on cross-cutting uh, concerns for implementation. So, although kami ay clearing house and most of the research projects ay ini-implement ng uh, six research centers natin in the country. Pero naman pa rin kami opportunity here in the main office to also conduct our research projects. Siguro ma'am, for our viewers na rin, kasi yung iba baka hindi alam po ano yung clearing house, so how would you define it in layman's terms? When you say clearing house dito sa ERDP, so yung mga research proposals, 
proposals from uh, the six uh, research centers namin in the country is the Dan office. So, yung mga research proposals related to urban ecosystem, so the Dan yan sa aming division, wherein I serve as the research program manager. And we review this uh, proposal, kung ito ba ay walang duplication, kung ito pa ay naka-align sa aming ENR RDE framework. And then, we will uh, clear the proposal na ito ay pwede gawa ng uh, full-blown proposal for review ng, uh, ng aming mga pool of innovators. What message can you give to those na nagpa-plan na mag-graduate studies? Siyempre, uh, marami po sa ating mga nag-BS na, undergrad studies, isip nila agad, isip nila mag-GS, mag-graduate studies na po. Uh, ano po ba pwede niyo ng sa akin Uh, for those who are planning to pursue a graduate studies, may advantage of course kung mag-pursue pa ng MS and PhD sa SIPA. Since many students na nag-aaral ka sa SIPA are coming from different countries, and also dun sa mga fellow Filipinos ko naman na nag-aaral ng SIPA, they are working in the Senate, sa mga masapangko, sa LGU, NGOs, connected sila sa different institutions, hence nakaka-establish tayo ng network or lineage. Na napakahalaga po sila na sa nabago ninyo. Yes, exactly. Because uh, nabibigay ito ng opportunities for, for us. Okay. Maraming maraming salamat po ng LinkedIn Day for giving us a look kung ano yung ginagawa niyo po dito sa ERTV at also kung paano nakatulong ang staff sa inyong career. So, dahil dyan ma'am, syempre, hindi ko kayo pakakawala na hindi niyo ginagawa ang favorite namin shout ang Tatak UPLB Shoutout. So, Ma'am Lindley, pwede ko bang marinig ang inyong Tatak Shoutout? Ako si Lindley Pintor, Tatak UPLB ako.